my friend recently replaced his chain and sprocket at 12000 kilometers this was 25% lower than its actual life this cost him around 2.5k to replace and it's not cheap how do you know if the chain or the chain sprocket is in a bad shape how should you maintain it to make sure it lasts for more than 15000 kilometers let's find out chain and sprockets are responsible for transmitting the power from the engine to the wheels with time chain develops play and leads to reduction in power and increase in transmission losses take a look at this timing chain from the old activa see how this bends the clearance at this location causes the chain to develop play on the other hand sprockets wear out at the teeth and the teeth generally tend to become sharper and can sometimes break off sprockets can wear out faster if the alignment is not right as shown in the sprocket over here the alternate teeth have worn out on one side this is because of alignment issues generally the chain and the sprockets are replaced together let's understand some basics about chains and chain maintenance open chain that we commonly see these days have o-rings that hold the factory grease inside these o-rings are responsible for the chain life and needs to be taken care of so here's what we need to clean and loop the chain a piece of cardboard wd-40 brush chain loop and some base cloth the o-rings are best clean with kerosene but i prefer to use wd-40 There have been myths saying that WD-40 damages the o-rings but there are people who have soaked the o-rings inside WD-40 for nearly a year and have seen little to no difference made to the o-rings so i guess it's safe to use WD-40 for cleaning the chain looking at the composition of WD-40 i would not settle for its lubricating properties let's start off by keeping the motorcycle on a center stand or a paddock stand put the bike in neutral and make sure the engine is off there are people who try to clean the chain with the engine on but i have seen some accidents where people have had severe injuries because of this before we start with the cleaning process take a moment to subscribe to this channel this will cost you nothing but this will encourage us to bring out interesting and useful content now that you have subscribed let's get back to work keep a piece of waste cardboard to keep the rims clean spray wd-40 for a full length once and then use a brush to clean the chain wipe the chain clean with the help of a waste cloth loop the chain on the inner surface and then on the outer side wait for a couple of minutes and then clean up the excess oil this should have you covered for the next 500 kilometers the kind of chain lube used should be as per your vehicle's use case if you are someone who travels on clean roads and is lazy to lube your chain then it's best to go with a lube like this however in my case i travel to the outskirts on gravel roads and paraffin based lube will gather grit and this will lead to faster degradation this is why i use sa90 oil the primary composition of any chain lube is sa90 this is basically your engine oil SA90 oil has good ability to maintain its viscosity with changes in temperature. This makes it suitable for drivetrain applications. Other benefits include better drivetrain efficiency, increase in bearing life, and smoother operation of gears. You can find out more information about SA90 oil through this SAE paper. I leave the link to this paper in the description. It's worth checking it out. In addition to the functional benefits there are cost benefits of using SA90 oil. You can straight up use engine oil or you can buy SA90 which will cost you about 600 rupees per liter as opposed to the aerosol which will cost you nearly twice as much. 
and adding more to the wounds the sa90 oil will last three times longer because it's not an aerosol the downside to using sa90 oil is that the lube gets tossed off and will leave your rims dirty and you will have to lube your chain more often this is a regular practice for people who use dirt bikes but for those of you who want the bike to be clean all the time or are too lazy to clean your rims or lube your chain i suggest you use the paraffin based chain lube the choice of chain lube should be based on the use case of your bike so that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comment section i'll catch you guys in my next video until then stay safe and godspeed